Hey, gamers, today I'm going to be reviewing Transmogrify, a new puzzle platformer for PC. In this game, you play as a video game protagonist who wakes up in an on-fire science lab with nothing but an AI and a high-tech gun to escape with. Sounds like a classic setup, right? The central premise of the game is pretty unique. You use your gun to transform enemies into basic puzzle implements like pushable boxes, springs, and bombs. I mean, I blasted a creature with my gun and it no longer had a nose, now that it was a stepladder. Unfortunately, it didn't take long for me to notice the cracks in the game's design. The first thing I did when I booted up the game was adjust the resolution and make it full screen. And unfortunately, the menus were finicky at the best of times. I later discovered that the level select could be even worse. I was locked into the current world and unable to replay previous levels. But that wasn't the only issue. The game judges you for everything you do. Did you get all the hidden collectibles? Did you do it fast enough? Did you only fire the gun the necessary number of times? It's highly unfair to judge me on time when I stop to listen to the game's dialogue. And on shots fired when you have enemies in the game that dodge you, it feels like I'm being mocked. The game reminds me a lot of Cursed Quest, another puzzle platformer that frequently forgets half of its own genre. Both games throw you into combat arenas for no reason. I mean, I hated that about Portal, that Chell never pulled out a Glock and blasted the turrets apart. Speaking of suffering, the game is also a platformer, and sometimes instead of throwing combat at you, it decides it wants to be Celeste. Unfortunately, Transmogrify does not have the tight controls for a precision platformer. Did I mention that literally everything kills you in one hit? Unless you have the temporary bonus health from a body armor pickup, when the game remembers to give it to you. In summary, the movements are far too clunky for precision platforming or for combat. But the game has both, because that's what games have in them, I guess. It's a shame because the puzzles are genuinely clever. I wouldn't mind the instant death or platforming so much if it was in service of the puzzles, which are all simple in execution while not necessarily being instantly obvious, making them satisfying to figure out. But the checkpoint system is terrible. Sometimes there are one or more checkpoints in a level, and if you touch one, it saves your progress at that exact moment. Once. So if you have to backtrack past a checkpoint and then die, you have to do the whole thing again anyway. So, that's my review of Transmogrify. It's a game that has a lot of promise with a central gimmick that's unique in puzzle platformers. But sadly, it doesn't live up to its potential due to its poor design choices. I hope the developers can improve the game in the future, but for now, I wouldn't recommend it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.